Uh, we're going to do something special now, and we're going to introduce you to Chris Beaver, who is a filmmaker who made a film called Dark Circle. And I was very fortunate enough to be invited to the press screening today, and I went, and I can report to you that I was going to have him on whether it was a good film or not, because I booked him. But it was terrific, and I was really impressed, and I've spent most of the day in discussion about this film with people, and I think it's very interesting, and I hope you'll enjoy meeting Chris Beaver. Come on on, Chris. <laughs> I'll just put it up near your uh, throat. Somewhere close to the throat, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Well, how do you do? Oh, thank you, Chris. <laughs> now, Not really. You, you have to stand up, Chris, and do this again. <laughs> Not the microphone, though. No, leave the mic on. They'll never know. Okay. And now I'd like to present you with Chris Beaver. Hi, Chris. <laughs> oh, boy. They got that. You're a filmmaker? Yes. And you've just completed and have had at the New York Film Festival, and I don't know if it's the only anti-nuclear film <laughs> in the film festival. Well, it's one of the few, shall we say. But it is marvelous. And if fo I'll, I'll let you say what it's about, so I won't be talking all the time. Otherwise, I might. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what the film is about? Well, we're going to take a look at a couple of clips. Yes. And, um, the clips that I want to show you are centered on a place named Rocky Flats Nuclear Weapons Plant, which is where all of the hydrogen bombs that the United States has have been made, and that's some 26,000 bombs. And uh, the area around the plant has been considerably affected by the weapons plant since it works with plutonium, which is thousands of times more toxic than uh, cobra venom and uh, remains lethal for 250,000 years. And so the film basically investigates that and asks the question, do we need to do this for ourselves, to ourselves, all in the name of producing weapons that can destroy everything on the planet? Exactly. Should we go to our first clip? Yeah, let's take a look okay, at the clip. Okay, let's go to the clip. I love it. This can cause changes in cells, and a tumor or genetic defect may begin to develop. For humans, it could take 20 years to show up as a cancer or malformation. Animals whose reproductive cycle is shorter Genetic mutations could take only a few months. <laughs> Lloyd Mixon has been raising animals in this area all his life, years before Rocky Flats was built. You get ready there, come on. You're awful slow today. The recent problems he and other farmers have seen are like those reported near the atomic bomb test site in Nevada. No, you're no good. No. See, I got the eggs marked with the mark and then the date. And I turn them twice a day. When they get close to hatching, I start listening to see when they're... hear them talking in the shell. Then what do you do? Talk back to him. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on. Come on. Well, when I was in the service, I was in the medics, and I run a projector. I had a lot of films on the effects of radiation and stuff. It showed the films of some livestock, the tissues and stuff. And a lot of the tissues that I saw in those films when I run those projectors and those slides, I've seen in some of the livestock here. In the hogs, we've had them with their mouth badly deformed that they were unable to nurse. We've had them with, instead of four toes on the front, having five toes. We've had them with their back feet too badly deformed that they couldn't walk. We've had them born at the body. We've had chickens who were hatched with their brains on top of their heads. We've had them where they would be alive in the shell. You'd break open the shell. They'd have the beaks would be crossed so bad that they weren't, was unable to pip the shell. We've had them with the needle beaks, we've had it with no eyes, we've had it with the feet so badly twisted that they pipped the shell and was unable to kick out because their legs are so badly deformed. There have been a few that's been born alive, but most of them have been born dead.
Although plutonium was found in the tissues of some of Lloyd Mixon's animals, as well as in tumors that were removed from his own body, the Rocky Flats staff and Colorado State University found other causes for the problems. They come up with poor feed, but according to the, the ticket on the feed that we buy, we, the feed has everything adequate in it. Now we've had this in some of the birds, which we've been told was inbreeding, yet the female came out of Pennsylvania, the male came out of Texas. There's no way that they could be related, or a very, very, very slim chance of them being related. I think it's going to get worse. I think it's going to start showing up in some of these people that's moved out here. Live in the studio with Chris Beaver, whose film opens at the New York Film Festival on Friday. That's right, 6.15. 6.15. There may be a couple of tickets left. But and maybe not. <laughs> and maybe not, yeah. 